All right, so I got my baby orange baboon tarantula right here. And caring for the OBT is actually pretty easy. I'd just say that they're definitely a pretty nervous species. And that nervous nervousness will graduate to defensiveness because they're a very aggressive feeders. They're pretty badass spiders, and you definitely don't want to get bitten by one because it'll hurt like hell. And I'll be giving it a mealworm today, and we'll see if it eats. It has a small black spot on the tip of its rump, which suggests that it could be in primal, but that just might be near its spinnerets and it's over here if you can see and so it was out the tarantula was out when I went to go to feed it and move its enclosure over here so it'll be interesting to see if it's hungry It'd be really nice if it was actually just really hungry and wanted to eat. Because then we could actually see it hopefully even attack the mealworm, which is always very nice. Which it should be able to feel in its web with, which uh, if you haven't noticed, it's webbed up its enclosure very nicely as you can see. Right around this area, all oh, through there, right across there. And that's actually a lot whiter than I've ever seen, so it's made a nice, thick, thick outline to its burrow. And it likes burrowing, and as you can see, it's buried its water dish, two of them now. So I'll have to replace that soon, but that'll be very scary to do. Because I'll have to open this thing up, and that will wreck its webbing. I'm just realizing now and tear apart its burrow, which will, could possibly rouse it. It's not fun. Not fun. That's why I might just wait till it rehouse if I can. I don't want it to be dehydrated, though, so I might not have, might have to do it sooner, which, of course. And, yeah, so these tarantulas, they like a dry substrate. When I first got it, I had a somewhat moist substrate in it push substrate up for it to hang out in because that substrate that it pushed up from the surface level actually dried out faster so it was like hiding up in that and, it, and it's made a burrow all the way around this circular enclosure here and it has a very nice large area to hang out in on the other side which is good because it's gonna molt soon and be a lot bigger and right now it's about an inch and a half yeah yeah about an inch now almost an inch and a half like 1.4 let's see all right so I'm gonna go to try to jump drop her in there so what you want to do is crush the mealworm's head that's what I always do right here BAM oh I'm getting better at it is really easy this time I'm just gonna try to drop it in now the tarantula might run as soon as I open it because it does do that. I'm gonna have to be very careful. All right, it didn't run. And also I don't like to open that too wide in case it ever didn't want to just bolt for it, which it definitely could. So I'm gonna take the terrain, the mealworm, drop it in there, hopefully by the tarantula, but not on the tarantula. Because the tarantula will, will run if you do that. Maybe not, though. I guess it depends. But it's, especially if it's a baby. Alright, now hopefully that mealworm with the crushed head will wiggle, and hopefully it'll wiggle enough to 
lower tarantula, which is feeling for its vibrations. Through its web, which is the primary way that they find their prey. It's through vibrations in the ground, not through eyesight or anything else. So I'm not entirely sure if it will take the mealworm because it looks to be possibly in pre molt but I'll leave it in there because it often is shy to eat in front of the light and the noise. But like I said, it was hanging out out in the open, which suggests maybe it's not in pre molt See that mealworm, normally they wiggle a lot more and that one's not really wiggling that much. I guess this, these things happen, I guess I might be due to the facts. I'm gonna guess, take a wild guess and say that I crushed a bit too much of the brain stem below the head. But anyways, yeah, it's a good tarantula. It's grown about 0.75 of an inch since I got it uh, three months ago almost. And it's about to molt, and hopefully it'll be nice and big two inches. It'll be nice, big, and scary, because this last molt, it looked a lot scarier. Now with its legs, it actually looks like a tarantula. Like you can see the the notches and the segments, whereas before it was a lot smaller. And I think I might have gotten like the darker variation of this OVT because some of them, I guess, they're a lot brighter colored, perhaps. I'm not sure. But all right, um, that's about it. I'll check it tomorrow, and if it's still there, I'll take it out. But it'll probably be in its mouth in like 30 minutes. That's almost always what happens. So, until next time.